I'm gonna go on his cue. All right, okay. So we're gonna go inside the heart now. We did a sagittal cut of the heart, sorry, a frontal cut of the heart, and you're gonna divide and see that what's inside. The first thing that you notice here is that you have, well, a real like, uh, like not so thick wall here. Look at the size of this. It goes like, I can grab with the tweezers here. And then look at the size of this, which I actually have like to hyperextend the tweezers to grab it. So this wall is much larger than this one here. Based on that, I know that this is the left side of the heart. Just because the left ventricle has to work harder to pump blood to the entire system as opposed to this one that just pumps blood to the, to the lungs. So on the left side, I see these flaps here. One big flap, another big flap. These are your bicuspid or mitral valve. They are held together by these structures here, and these filaments that act like the cords of a parachute that are known as the corda tendini. The corda tendini are anchored on the bottom of the heart by these humps right here. You can see that one of these humps actually came off because on the other side here. And these humps are called the papillary muscle. So the bicuspid valve, corda tendini, and the humps of muscle known as papi uh, papillary muscle. If you stretch the walls of the heart, you see something that I tell my students that looks like Freddy Krueger. It does look like Freddy Krueger, which are the trabecula carni. Trabecula carni. The trabecula carni are, this literally translates into uh, struds of flesh. So that's it for the left ventricle. If you bypass this valve, you go up there, way deep, and you see your um, left atria. Between the left and the right atria, I have this piece of flesh here that is the interventricular septum. It's a major piece of flesh of cardiac muscle that separates the two chambers. Of course, on this side, I'm also going to have a valve, another atrioventricular valve. This one has three cusps, and this is called the tricuspid valve. It also has the corda tendini to it, and on top of this, going way deep there, would be your right atria. The only thing left here now is actually finding the um, semi-lunar valves. So I go in the left atria, left ventricle again, and I look at the very top, and this is actually hard, it's going to be difficult to see it, but you can see this structure here, and it literally looks like the the flanks of a butthole, and that's our semilunar valve. So this the the aortic semilunar valve because it's on the left side. The pulmonary semilunar valve. Supposedly you could see that here on the left, um, on the right ventricle, but it's very difficult on that kind of cut. So I go back outside, and I get to my pulmonary trunk, which is an artery slash that open and I can see deep there give you time to focus it those flanks that you see right there those folds that you see deep there are the semilunar valves the pulmonary semilunar valves it's easy the only thing that is deep into the pulmonary trunk is going to be the semilunar valve that's it